Hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode with, uh, yeah, the rank series. Getting a promotion, I think it's kind of bug. I don't know why I'm not getting promoted. Like, I've been winning, like, for a while. It's really frustrating. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we are up against Jalal Bad. I've been fighting this guy for a while, and... God, he's annoying. You will know why in the next... Uh, fight so um, I remember he did piss me off a lot with his style so uh, it was uh, late in the night and I was like uh, uh, I, I know that if I did stay for a while I would only keep fighting him to do me setting the bar on uh, 3 plus and as I said, uh, this is the Middle East. Sometimes in the night nobody play, and I'm a night guy, so I guess only me and him were around there. So uh, the thing is, okay, I will not give you a spoiler anyway. So you just just enjoy the fight. Bottom line, uh, he got me pissed off a little. And I decided to just stay on his case, like, I'm not leaving, I will make you lose all the day. Till I say it's enough, then I will leave. <laughs> so yeah, the guy does play defensive, because, you know, one mistake, he will be launched with my <laughs> blazing kick and stuff. Huh. And if you did notice, he did not uh, switch immediately, because he saw my lay doing the 3 plus 4, a forward now. And he's like, oh my god, big juggle, I'm not giving him that. So yeah, he have to play a good defense against me. Else he will be sent flying. Uh, his Steve is not this good, to be honest. He just tried to go for the uh, stance switching from one kind of move, but that's wrong, because you have like a lot of moves that will make you switch the stance. Uh, I used to use a lot of them, and the such steps here, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I used to do like a lot of these, like uh, before, into one, uh, but you don't have to go for the whole move, because if you did press forward, you switch the position. And usually I follow that with the either tag crush or anything else, or even uh, a throw, so yeah. He need to step up his game with Steve. Uh, Steve is not his man. His man is Marduk, I assume. So, uh, so uh, the next fight will be up against him, as I said, because uh, just battle. see this, just see this. Each time I give him a hard time, he comes after me with solo Leo, like. Seriously, he's like, he couldn't take me in attack, he will bring his solo Leo. And he got me a few times, cause solo's cheap. I mean, look at look at the insane damage, one mistake and you are like, done for it. You have to step up your game like way higher, and like learn how to deal with the character whether you like it or not. And we are talking about Leo here, solo Leo, he's not like, God. I'm glad it's not solo June at least. But the damage is ridiculous, like I was like, seriously, Solo? Seriously? So, I was like, I'm not, I'm not giving him this. I'm not giving him this. You know, if you wanna play Solo, go back to Tekken 6. I mean, if you don't know how to play the game and you are just like good with one character, yes, you might think about the Solo, but come on. I mean, so I decided to like uh, try to do my best, you know, mix the stuff. I know it's kind of hard, especially if you were like Rusty, and don't forget the um, good thing that I had, like, see, see the spam, god, he keeps spamming this, and this is like. That, this was his solution, like, for how to fight me, like, solo. And after the fight, I decided to stay around, 
and give him our time. I'm like, I will get you demoted. I will get you crying and be like, I wish I didn't fight him. Because you don't bring your solo and try to annoy me. You just don't do that. Uh, should I just should, should be switching or something? I guess I'm generally bad against Leo. <laughs> oh, and I missed the judge. Leo got like very good pogs and this guy got good defense and he usually stepped back. And I got them this round. By poking him back and trying. So yeah, I don't know how did I win these two rounds, but yeah. So he's trying to make a comeback now. He played defensive, but why does they always fail with the Blazing King? Actually, the Blazing King, guys, doesn't count as a, uh, a combo after the headbutt, you know, the 1 plus 2 back on counter. So I guess when they get down in such a position, you know, they panic and they forget to hold back. Because if they didn't hold back, the Blazing King will get them. So that, that, that's a free thing for you to learn, or to be careful. And I got him! I guess he was trying to launch me on the wall or something. So... Ah, the greed, buddy. The greed! I, was, I thought that I would get him, and I did not switch with Lars. Or actually, uh, I should have went... Oh, uh, there's two more... No, that's a nice time, but I give him that. So uh, what a situation. Now let's see if Lars will save the day. Mm. Lars do suck in this session because uh, I got to say I did learn a few moves on him. Oh, <laughs> the sidestep arc last did not work. Ah, uh, yeah, now that's sad. Ah, uh, cool. Ah, oh, and I missed the juggle. I guess people generally miss juggle when they are fighting against a solo player because they are like what you are, you are afraid that you will make one mistake then he will do his ridiculous damages on you and stuff. I mean moves. Yeah, ridiculous damage man. So yeah. Is he going to play cheap? Yeah, he was going for the suit. He was going for the suit. Cheap man. Bring me solo Leo. I'm gonna get you to move it. But sadly I did not. So yeah, I decided not to leave because I wanted to dismantle this guy. I'm gonna fight him again, like I'm not leaving. Get ready for the next battle. So yeah, now he brought his Marduk. And I'm generally bad against Marduk, you know, because I rarely fight this guy. I literally did not see half of his moves, and I mean it. Like, it's really bad to fight against a player that you don't know how to stop. <laughs> so yeah, that's his green team, Mordok Leo. And once again, I assume, because I did, did not uh, see anything else from him, like... But since Mordok got like the highest rank, it must be the man. I don't know why does he not focus like uh, on playing Murdoch and why is he moving to Steve? Because I've, I've seen him uh, playing with Steve like a lot. Uh, Murdoch. So complicated and I don't know how to deal with him. Haha. <laughs> Works every time. He thought that I would tag rush or something. Generally, I'm bad at timing the ta like the tag rushes. So, uh, the wake up three plus four, man. Yeah, come on, wake up. Is he going to escape? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Now we'll have to deal with Mardo. Or maybe not. Ah. Now what is he going to do? Like um, a lot of Marduk's moves, he will. Oh god! 
Was this counter? Was it like I don't know? Was it like stable? Was it was stony or something? That's all because I missed the dragon. And I've lost the round, I guess. <laughs> you can't just make a comeback against the player who got peg defense, you know. That would be epic to see. Oh, I didn't go for the full tiger move. Because I thought that he would react immediately. Wow, what a damage! See that? Because when you don't know what is going on, what will happen, then you can't anticipate anything. You can't just like prepare, sidestep, or even like back off. It's a hopeless situation. So yeah, after seeing a few of his moves, uh, I think I did try harder the rounds after it, like. And here comes Leo. <laughs> now that this was so, so stupid and desperate at the same time. So yeah, I guess I was like, once again, I stayed around, so I stop him. I'm not leaving till I stop him. And I got around. He got too cocky, and he started the round with Leo, and that's what, oh again. He's like, oh, I will show you Leo. Why did you pack Beto? Did I start to, to give him phobia or something? <laughs> oh, I thought that I would miss it, because usually guys, I do miss it. I'm perfect. He wished that he brought his Mordor now. <laughs> so I don't think this is the last fight for today, because I noticed there's a lot, like, there's another one there. And I really don't know like, who's up next. Oh, it's this guy, yeah. I decided to add the, his fight because you guys rarely see me fighting Kakus. Like, I don't know why didn't I run into them, into the yellow ranks yet, but I guess they disappeared. Or maybe they are play, playing with one bar. Uh, this guy is good, uh, alone in the dark. Uh, we have fought him before like many times. So I don't know that he does play capo, and I will tell you, he's really annoying. Like he got, I don't know. He, he know how to do more moves other than the juggling, cause like uh, it's not all about the juggling. He will not play the. You can tell that he did play for a while with the capos. Tiger is annoying. I think he doesn't have the exact moves. Yep, he does not. Doesn't. He's the kind of. Uh, I don't think he's a clone, actually. Tiger is the original from Tekken 3. I don't know how did I unlock him before, but he is in the game. I don't know the whole story though. The pressure. He's trying to get another run from me. And maybe he will. At least he's not trying to spam the uh, 3 plus 4. <laughs> he's trying uh, like different moves. Well, now, which is good. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage from Lei. I give you that. Ridiculous. <laughs> For two minutes. Uh, should have gone for the side step. But, uh, got to like the damage output because uh, they are good at settling the round sometimes and not allowing your opponent to switch because they can't anticipate the output damage that you will get. Well, he fought very well. Ah, and I failed to finish the level. It's 
nothing like that is very bad or something. Uh, I generally know how to fight the, the cat was using Lay. It's like very easy. Bring me more couples. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's for today's session. Uh, I will be sure to upload something more epic. I just want to show you guys Jalal Bat. <laughs>